Stamkos couldn't tee it up. Perfect spot for him. Perfect again, able to keep in. And Lightning trying to set things up. Long distance shot, they score! Deflected in front. And just like that, 1 0, a minute 23 in. Sergachev letting it go from the point. Better look at this than Darcy Kemper. He didn't see a thing. Look, Sonny Milano doesn't get to the loose puck. When he doesn't get there, that allows Tampa to regain control. This long shot from Mikhail Sergachev just going to sift its way through traffic. Johansson goes out. Look at that line in front of Kemper. Power play underway. Tampa Bay Lightning coming ranked 16th with the man advantage. Washington's penalty kill has been excellent. Number six in the NHL. One touch shot. It's not excellent there for the penalty kill. Nikita Kucherov, the one timer. And it's 2 0 Tampa Bay. Three in a row. They had to stand out there until finally he got one. This is great work in the corner, however. Point and Hagel win this puck battle from two capitals. He get it back to Sergachev and his pass. And this is the play they work on in warm-up. Sergachev, Kucherov on the dot. Under the glove, it's 2-0. Tampa and a great lightning start. He had the 3-0 goal the other night in favor of Washington. Battle for the blue line. Kalorn able to swing it across. No need for the offside. There's Perbix. Centered in front off the skate. Neen! That went off a dust of sin. So are the Lightning. 3 0, Tampa Bay. College career at St. Cloud State last year. He played in the Olympics in Beijing. He signs, goes to the American Hockey League, plays 12 games, comes to camp, and quite simply played his way onto the roster. This puck actually goes off a of Carlson stick, Gustafson skate. Good luck, Darcy Kemper. It's 3 0 on Nick Perbix's third goal of the season. Back to the point. Sergachev swings it across. Here's Hagel now. Looking to move things around. There's Sergachev already having a big night, and he adds to it. Mikhail Sergachev. And this lightning power play is humming now. 4 0, Tampa Bay. First period. Watch Nick Jensen in front of the net. Number three, he's going to attack Stamko, so there's no one-timer. So he gives it back to Sergachev. Again, all kinds of traffic in front of Darcy Kemper. He's trying to look around Trevor Van Riemsdyk and Brandon Hagel. While he's looking around him, he can't catch the puck. Went wide, horn sounds, and Maroon going to go. Maroon in the blue, Irwin in the white, with zeros on the clock. four goal a game team they're just not going to be so it's a hard way to play but if they're going to stay in this they're going to have to stay pretty tight Kucherov is going to go delayed penalty and a goal for the Washington Capitals Connor Sheary sweeps it in on the delayed penalty and the Capitals are on the board to Kuznetsov who slides this around Victor Hedman and Connor Sheary, who's had an active, energetic game, gets the caps on the board. Sheary waits, opens himself up, and beats Vasilevsky. Ray Irwin and Belmar dancing now inside the Tampa end all by themselves. Second tilt of the night from Matt Irwin in the white. Here in with Belmar in the blue. And the Capitals looking to do something, try to get back in this hockey game. 20 minutes to play. Here's Carlson. Backhand. Vasilevsky's hugging the pipe. Having a 4-1 lead, Ray. It's good to give him Myers and Fleury regular shifts all night. That's got to be a positive in addition to winning the hockey game here. It is, and a few less minutes for some of the other guys. And, yeah. and quite frankly, tip in front off the pipe. Oh, 
Oh, what a chance for Cole Kepke, who has still looking for his first National Hockey League point. He'll be dreaming about that one. Empty net and put it off the post. All right, here's the Cole Kepke play. Off the pipe. Oh, and that in. That is awesome. That is Cole Kepke's first NHL goal. So, Hagel's goal. Goal went in for Tampa, number 45 scored. Reset the clock at 6.45. Survey the crowd's water what's going on as well. There's the smile. Start to finish, this has been a Tampa-dominated game. And you had to feel like they would come up with this effort after losing the Washington in D.C. 5-1. Shot and a score! Capitals are not done yet. Lars Eller. And it's 5-2. to two. Tampa has not had a game where they've given up one goal. This is the second one here. Really nice play on the boards. And Lars Eller beats Andre Vasilevsky for his third of the year. Nice play by Johansson on the boards to absorb the check and find Eller coming late. This shot hits the pad of Vasilevsky, is it? And 5-2 to two right now with 2.50 to play. Five goals for Tampa Bay, ties their season high. And the empty net, and it's in. And that should seal the deal. Nick Paul will take the gift. 6-2, Tampa Bay. Oh, there you go. Would you look at that? Kuznetsov put his stick like a goalie. You know it's going to go colder, but you don't think that. Lightning come away. Building starts to empty out a little bit. Loose puck in front and a score! That's Hathaway! Able to take it away from the Lightning defender. And it's 6-3. to three. Just a head shake from John Cooper. Right? Don't make this turnover. There's no reason to make a play in the middle of the ice. Just chip it up the boards. And then Myers gets beat in the middle. Boy, Hathaway's a little stronger. On his stick, Myers mishandles it, and, and it's in the net at 6-3. Now, in the long game here, it doesn't matter, but to the Tampa coaching staff and to these players, it shouldn't. And it's a good teaching moment as well, right? It'll be a coaching moment, if you will. He'll have something to grind on his team about, even though they get the victory. On a Tampa Bay Lightning, 6-3 win over the Washington Capitals.